What's happening guys, it's Sabina from Phone Bunch and here's our first episode of the gear I use. Now this is the Samsung T3 portable SSD. Now the one I'm using is the 250 gig variant. You can also get it in 512 gigabytes, one terabyte and even two terabytes. Now this has been one of the most fruitful additions to my entire setup. Now why do I say that? I'll get to that. Now in itself, the T3 is very light, just 51 grams in weight, it's really small. It fits in the palm of your hand, you can easily carry it around being that small and light in weight and it's cased in a metal shell. Moreover, it is shock resistant as well, so you can be sure that your data is protected. Now at the bottom, you can see that black part that is sort of rubberized, presumably for better grip, but beneath that, you again have metal. Now the T3 supports the read and write speeds of up to 450 megabytes per second. We are going to test that out later on in this video. Now inside the box you do get a USB type C to USB cable. Now the interface that is supported by the Samsung T3 is USB 3.1. Now essentially inside both the Samsung T3 and the Samsung Evo 850 you have the same SSD chip. So they both pretty much run at the same speeds at least when they are connected with the same interface. But you can see how small the T3 is. Now since there are no moving parts, these are actually quite light. Now coming to the T3, it features 256-bit hardware encryption. So you put in a password and that's just about it. Everything is encrypted and nobody will be able to access it without a password. And the same works with smartphones as well. You need to download the portable SSD app, put in your password and well, you get access to the drive. If you have not encrypted the drive, then you can simply access it as a normal hard drive. It works with tablets and smartphones with USB or DG support and they need not be made by Samsung. With that, let's talk about performance. You can see about 400 megabytes per second read and write speed sequentially. And even the random read and write speeds are quite high. Compared to an internal mechanical drive, you can see the difference especially the random read and write, which would be the general case of usage. And this is a comparison with an external USB 3.0 mechanical hard drive. So you can see the huge speed improvement. Now the Samsung T3 has helped me streamline my process a little bit more. So instead of copying it to the SSD directly, which I have on my primary system, I copy it to the portable SSD so that I can switch between systems very easily. I always have access to the raw files which need to be edited. And because of those high write and read speeds, I can use this as a cache or a scratch disk when I'm working with Photoshop, Premiere or After Effects or any combination of those softwares. So therein lies the portability and utility of this device. But that comes at a price. The Samsung T3 is not cheap. It comes in at about 13,000 rupees for the 250 gig variant and goes quite high. But if you have the dough, this is an indispensable tool in your arsenal, especially if you're working with videos. Well folks, that's it for this video. If you liked it, do it that like button. If you want more such videos on the gear that I use to make these videos, do it as in the comment section. Thanks for watching and as always, have a great day.